The laws of the Jews are 38 volumes long. And we've even talked to elderly rabbis that have said, well, I've never read the whole thing cover to cover. Because it's just so much. But I say, is it the word of God? Yep, it's the word of God. <laughs> never even read it cover to cover. And let me tell you something. Judaism today doesn't just add 38 volumes to the, to the word of God. No, I'll tell you what it does. It rejects this book completely and just worships those 38 volumes. And in, according to the Talmud, it's all, it's the rabbis, it's the elders. Remember the traditions of the elders that matter. And in fact, God even takes guidance from the rabbis in the Talmud. Even God listens to the judgments of the rabbis. They decide what's right and wrong. And even God uh, takes orders from them, according to the Talmud. And I've read the passages myself, and that, that's what it says. It's very weird. And it's, it's a really stupid book. I mean, if you actually just sit down and just start reading several pages of the Talmud, it's one of the stupidest things you'll ever read. It's, it's boring. It's lame. It, you know, God's word has power. And whenever you try to read any of these other scriptures from other religions, they're always weak. You know, you open the Book of Mormon and read a few pages. It's ridiculous. You read a few pages of the Quran. You can tell something's wrong with this. Read a few pages of the Apocrypha. And you're, you're scratching your head about, you know, how, how anybody could think this is scripture. But when you read the Bible, every page of the Bible is wonderful, powerful. And, and you say, how do you know the Bible's true? Because it's, it's the power of God's word. Because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So this, this uh, teaching of the Talmud is what Jesus Christ is rebuking here. And make no mistake about it. If you talk to modern day Jewish rabbis, they will say that they're following the religion of the Pharisees. They'll even tell you that we're Pharisees because the Pharisees are the group that became the predominant rabbis after the destruction of the temple and they were scattered everywhere. The, rap, the, the Pharisaical rabbis are the ones who took power. And in fact, if you remember the apostle Paul was trained by Gamaliel before he got saved. Remember he was brought up and taught at the feet of the Pharisee teacher Gamaliel. Gamaliel, same guy, is one of the rabbis of the Talmud. He's one of the main rabbis in the Talmud, revered as being one of their greatest uh, rabbis. But of course, you know, the Apostle Paul said it was all dung that Gamaliel taught him. Remember? Gamaliel had taught him nothing, but he said all those things that were in him when he excelled in the Jews' religion. He said, I excelled in the Jews' religion. He wasn't talking about Christianity, was he? And he said, above many my equals, he said, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ, I count all things but dung, he said. And those things were worthless unto him once he found uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is what Jesus is rebuking. And that's why Jesus said, if you believed Moses, he said to the Pharisees, you would have believed me, for he spake of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? So that jives perfectly with Jesus saying here that you've laid aside the commandment of God for your tradition. You've rejected the teaching of the Bible and you've embraced the teaching of the Talmud. And you've embraced all of these traditions and things that we see washing hands, washing cups, washing pots. And look, if you have a rule that says, hey, I'm going to wash my hands every time I eat, that's fine. But don't say that God commanded that because he didn't. 